Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com where we provide cloud computing services that allow your employees to work anywhere in the world and still be under one virtual roof. We do this by hosting over 300 software applications and their associated data. Those applications can include Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Act by Sage, Peachtree Accounting, and many more. Everything that you see in this video today can be run from a Windows PC, from a Mac, from a Linux machine, from an Android tablet, or from an iPad. If you'd like more information about our company, you can go to our website at virtualroof.com. You can do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can email us at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281. Okay, so I got a message today on LinkedIn from someone who had seen one of our videos on YouTube and he wanted to know how I got the logo on our ACT contact layout. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, and to do that, I'm going to switch over to my virtual roof. I'm sitting, I'm sorry, sit, I'm going to switch over to my virtual desktop. I'm actually sitting in Orlando, Florida right now, but all of our software and all of our data is in a data center facility in Bellingham, Washington. And so I'm just going to go down here and click on this button, which is my remote des desktop that sits in Bellingham. Okay, and you can see when I pull this up, I've got Microsoft Office on here, here's QuickBooks, and so on and so forth, and I'm going to switch over to ACT now. And this is um, the screen that the individual saw with our logo in the layout, and the one that um, he was asking how we got that done. So, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the basic ACT layout, which comes with the software and I'm going to go to Tools and Design Layouts and Contact. Okay, now the first thing that you need to do when you come in here is not click on anything, um, but you want to stretch out your work area or, your, or maybe you want to, or maybe this is called a canvas, um, but you just go, want to go down here to the bottom right hand corner and get on this little control button and just drag that down so that you resize and you make plenty of room to work. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my mouse, I'm going to hold my uh, left mouse button down, and I'm going to drag over across all of these fields, and that's going to highlight all of them, okay? Now, typically, I would use my down arrow key to move these guys down so that I don't take any chance on shifting to the left or to the right um, by accident, um, but that it moves really slow when you do that, and I don't want to take up that much time in this video. All right. So now I've got room for my logo at the top. The next thing I do is I go to Paintbrush. So I'm going to go to Start and go into my Paintbrush. And this assumes that you already have your logo saved somewhere on your computer. So I'm going to go to Open, File and Open, and browse to the location of the logo. Again, this is our K drive for our company. This is our shared drive. Um, so everybody in our company, no matter where in the world they're located, can see this drive and can share data in these folders. And let's see, we'll use this side cropped. Okay, so I've got my logo up here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit and select all then edit and copy and then we're going to go back to act and right click and paste and there we have it it sticks it right in the middle of the screen so you just have to drag it to where you want it and I'm going to use my arrow keys now to kind of fine tune the location and the next thing I'm going to do is resize my box here so that we can see the entire logo the bottom up just a smidge okay and now I can bring these fields back up 
So it's a nice snug fit there. And then all I've got to do is a file and a save as, give it a new name. I'm going to call this one VR Demo. Save. Close out of this. And then I'm going to click my layout button up in the top and click on VR Demo. And there's our brand new layout. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's very easy. Um, again, you just open up Paintbrush and copy it. Now, if your logo size is too large, you need to go into Paintbrush and resize that. Um, and the way you do that is you go to Image and Stretch slash Skew and just change your percentage for your horizontal and your ver vertical so that, you know, if you need to make it a little bit smaller, you might want to drop it down to 75% or 50% or whatever the number needs to be. And you can play with that a little bit each time. Um, and then just keep copying and pasting it back into your layout. That's it. Once again, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. Keep in mind that everything that you saw us do in this video can be run from any of these computers or devices. If you'd like more information about our company, you can visit us at our website at virtualroof.com. You can do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube and watch some of, our, some of our other videos. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281.